Cameron Teague Robinson at CJ underscore Teague Trey Harris walked into Saturday's post-game press conference with the taste of sour cream in his mouth. Instead of a whipped cream pie to the face after the game, Harris got a mouthful of sour cream. Sure the taste was sour, but Harris wasn't complaining. Because his last at-bat at Taylor Stadium led to his most memorable home plate stomp. His three-run home run capped the six-run seventh inning that gave Missouri an 8-3 win over Tennessee and clinched the final spot in next week's Southeastern Conference Tournament, that was crazy. Harris said, It was one of those moments where it was crazy, even the next two innings, my heart was still thumping, Missouri's pitchers have been the glue that keeps the Tigers baseball program together. It's been the case for much of the season, as the Tigers rank near the bottom of the SEC in hits and batting percentage and are last in slugging percentage, but it was especially true in the weekend series against Tennessee. The Tigers combined to score just three runs in the first two games and it seemed as if another low-scoring result was coming on Saturday. Even Harris was a little worried, I was, just because of the way the offense looked, but what gave me hope was that we really did need only one swing. Harris said. Trailing Tennessee 2-1 in the top of the sixth inning, with runners on first and second and no outs, Missouri coach Steve Beiser pulled Tyler LaPlante for Nile Ball. Ball worked out of the two-on-no-out jam, without giving up a run. That was the start of a momentum shift, Beiser said, he competes and his stuff really plays well, Beiser said. What he needs to do is continue to pound that fastball down in the zone, use that breaking ball and he has a really good change up on some nights. He's been big in some games for us, in the bottom of the six, Missouri tied the game after a Brian Sharp ground ball went under the glove of Tennessee first baseman Pete Durkay. And then in the seventh inning, the floodgates opened, anytime you get help, that's when you have to create a big inning, Pfizer said. Pfizer hoped that one of the seniors would have a chance to win the game for Missouri. This was the year that they wanted to break through and get to a regional, but they had to make the SEC tournament first. It was junior Zach Hanna, though, that gave Missouri the lead. Hanna sent a Will Neely pitch deep over the left center wall near the football practice field. But Missouri wasn't done. Before Tennessee could pull Neely, Chad McDaniel singled and Brett Bond drew a walk. On the next at-bat, Chris Cornelius put a bunt down and Tennessee pitcher Garrett Stallings misplayed it, loading the bases. Senior Matt Burler came to the plate and hit it to RBI double off the left field wall. The momentum was officially swung, we've seen that our offense can be a momentum offense a bit and Hannah got a good swing off, Beiser said. All of a sudden things start to roll our way, to cap the inning off, Harris hit a three-run home run into the left field bullpen. Harris rounded the bases, his chains bouncing around his neck in tune with his trot with a smile on his face. He saw his teammates pointing at the plate, signaling for the plate stomp, I just went ahead and did it, because if the boys are about it, I'm about it, Harris said. He stomped and let out a scream afterwards. That's a moment Harris will never forget, but it was made possible because of everybody in front of him. From Ball's two-on-no-out performance in the sixth and Hannah starting the inning off with a solo home run. And Harris knew that, my home run was cool, but it was made a lot easier because of my teammates, Harris said. It was 5-2 when I got my hit, so at that point the pressure is off me. I just had to hit the ball hard. Dot dot dot. My teammates set me up for good vibes and I tried to feed off of it, it felt good that when we needed a win, the offense is the reason we won. Harris said.
the pitching has been carrying us all year. It's nice that we stepped up as an offense for them today, Harris, and the rest of the seniors won't play at Taylor Stadium again. But they get at least one more week together, a week they can use to strengthen their NCAA regional resume. Robinson at Columbia Tribune.com